By the way, how are you guys dosing creatine in women? It's a good question, and I, I think I know your views on this, but in re in reality, in a lab-based setting, so we have a pretty cool study right now in um, the first with creatine in perimenopause. Mm. Um, and so because we have a lab restriction, we often will load first just to accelerate that creatine yep. saturation um, and then follow it up with, with five grams a day. I'm a big believer that five grams, but even now the, the data in, in our midlife women or the brain health is up to 10, 10. grams. Yeah, we've we've changed our thinking yeah. on this. Yeah. Is um, and by the way, I completely hear you on loading because if you just go steady state, it takes it weeks takes to way get too there. Long. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So totally get that. But yeah, it's actually funny. I had Rhonda Patrick on the mm -hmm. podcast recently. We were talking about that, and I came out of that podcast thinking, you know what? I think we should move our maintenance dose mm. from five to ten. Mm -hmm. And so we've kind of just done that. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, and so we typically will do five grams following that loading, uh -huh. and that's what we're doing and now. And your load is how long? And it's what? usually five days. Five so days 20 at grams, 20? Yep. Mm -hmm, at five days split in, in four or five gram doses. Yep. Okay. But for the average person who's not trying to enter a study, just go to 10 a day and we feel pretty good about it. And uh, so, so again, really interesting point. And I'd love to hear what women are experiencing mm -hmm. if this is reducing some of the edema that they're that they're getting uh, during that luteal phase. Um, talk a little bit more about the protein issue. So are you saying that potentially during early luteal phase, muscle protein synthesis is not as efficient? Yeah, well, so, and the, this is a debatable topic right now. And I'll just say first in the luteal phase, we also tend to see an increased metabolic rate. Mm. And what do you think that's driven by? Is that temperature is that no i mean maybe temperature maybe the luteal lining or the um the uterine lining mm. um you know i'm not exactly sure i, I there's a number of pro metabolic processes maybe it's the progesterone how, how much is it by the way do you it's have usually a, like a couple hundred calories a couple hundred calories a day of increased metabolic to, uh, of increased Accumulate, yeah, energy expenditure. And yeah. I, I think that's relevant because in reality, what's two to 300 calories, but it's often when women and girls feel their worst. And they might not appreciate it on the scale because if anything, they're retaining more water. Exactly.